thought we'd talk about a video today, okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. I get a lot of questions about the outro that I like to play on all of my videos. Usually I'll sort of have my little recap conversation and where you can tweet me and all that kind of stuff at the end of the video. That is not just my face on a screen, it is also this like designed thing that I made and other videos and just things you can click. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, which means we have to go over to the computer. Are you going to be okay? We'll be right back. We will be right back, okay? We have to go to the computer or else I can't show you how. Okay, let's go make a sexy outro. Okay, so I am editing my Savvy Tuesday video. As you can see, I am working with Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, the important thing is, um, when we are going over what I do for my outros, is that you're using a linear editor here. Um, it's much easier to see what tracks are on top of what in different segments here. So you can see there's multiple layers here. I have the main video, I have an on, a video on top of that, and I have the watermark. There's a lot of layers. It's easier to see when you're in linear. So I've edited most of the video to complete at this point, and I'm just, I've moved on to my outro, which is here. As you can see, um, the watermark has stopped because I don't need it for that last frame, which is my full outro. So I'm making sure that the watermark stops where I am cutting to the outro. And you'll also see that video one here is my main video source. Once we get to the outro though, the main video source is going to be this image. So I need to move my main video to the second video line because I want it to be on top of the image that I'm going to put here. So now I'm going to put my outro image in, make that last the whole time there. And then what, as you can see, obviously you cannot see the image. And that is because this, this video here is on top of the outro image. So I need to shrink my video. So if I double click it here in Adobe Premiere, it depends on what program you're in, but it's ultimately giving me this box here where I can shrink it to whatever size I like. So once I do that, I just shrink it down and now it's going to be a new size. It's going to play in the exact place that it was supposed to because of how I set it up on the timeline here. Everything's going to seem to be very continuous and just changing sizes. So as an example, obviously that transitioned very nicely there. So it's just the change in the size. So ultimately that's going to be what I'm doing the rest of the time here. I don't need the watermark because I have all this branding happening on this image that I designed in Photoshop. Very, very simple to do as long as you just design with the right, um, with the right dimensions that you are processing your video in which for mine is 1920 by 1080, then uh, this is going to fit fine. I have all my information there. And I also like to link to other things happening on YouTube. So the Schmatastic channel is my personal blog channel. I've got that over here. And the last episode, because I make three of these videos per week, I want everybody to check out my last episode if they missed it. So I've already got those here imported into Adobe. So I'm going to go do my last episode first and that's going to go in this third video line. So now we have a third video. It's really a third layer. As you can see, there's other things happening here um, and that's because there's so many layers. So I'm going to shrink that down and move it over. And I will also kind of like trim this up. I, I don't want it to be like right at the beginning when it starts playing. So that's pretty good right there. That's me talking. The important thing here is once you do that, you have to get rid of that audio because you don't want both audio. That's way too much of my voice happening and really annoying. So I'm unlinking the audio here and I'm going to delete that. So the only audio track playing should be the main video. So now we're going to go and get the Schmatastic video, which is a little bit of Columbus land back backstage footage that I took. Again, we're trimming it up. I don't really want any titles. Um, and again, deleting, unlinking and deleting the audio, shrinking it down. Try, try to get it to be the same size as that other one. I don't have them perfectly centered yet. I'll fix that once I'm done with you guys, but that's essentially what we've been done here. Now, obviously your videos are going to be a little bit longer than the end of the video. So just make sure you're cutting it to end at the right time. So your video doesn't 
continue for silly reasons, and then you have your outro. Isn't that special? So those are my tips for how you can grow your network faster and right away. So if you're not doing... Computer's a little slow while I am recording and uh, playing all these videos at the same time in Adobe, but you get the idea. That's all for Sexy Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you are here tomorrow for Social Thursday because I'm going to be talking about YouTube viewers, and since you're one of them, I think you're going to want to be here. Tweet with me, at Schmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social, and yeah, that's, that's what's happening. I would like it if you subscribe to this channel because I make these videos three times a week, so, you know, just in case you didn't know. Just letting you know. I know. I know. What do you think of my headband? I like it. It's a little different. So I feel a little bit tropical. It's like snowing outside, so I thought, hmm, I'm going to put this some crazy colors on with my gray and black, and that'll change everything.